honk honk. This is, it's like Christmas. You get Zelda and you get Goose Game all in one day. Welcome to the stream. Uh, starting a little early today because of movie tonight. And I got my uh, Link's Awakening in the mail. And I'm going to play Link's Awakening. The remake, the Switch version. Very excited. Uh, that, that's a steep price point. And I'm going to probably harp on that a little bit later on, but let's just enjoy the game for now, huh? Also, look at this lineup. What a lineup. Just this, these five games. Well, this is 20 games, but... And you got more lineup here. Jesus. Fucking hell. It's fucking system. All right. Let's get started. Oh, Goose Game just finished. Nice timing. Anyway, welcome to the stream. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing very well. And, uh... Instead of enjoying the nice weather, I'm in here playing Link. And that's fine. Fully animated... intro. So after A Link to the Past, Link goes out for a nice sail. Just just wants to just wants to be on the water, take a vacation, and well, he got a vacation, all right. You know, I've been deliberately avoiding a lot of the footage of this game so that I could be surprised by a lot of it. And this is quite nice. Look at those... sand. <laughs> horn flute, here we go. Nice little horns and flute. Nice. Did a goose play this theme? Well, it fits. It fits the vibe of the visuals. And this is a bass clarinet? No, oh, oh, you know, it's fine. Boy, where do I start? Um, God, I streamed Link's Awakening DX. Before I get started, I streamed Link's Awakening DX about a year and a half ago in April. And I love that game. I've played Link's Awakening so many times. The game means a lot to me. Does it mean $60 to me? I'm not sure, but... Um, I also got the art book, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um... I'm really curious to see what they're gonna do with a lot of the music. How they're gonna translate the Game Boy sounds into actual instruments, and I think we just got a sample. And visually, it looks really nice. I, the, the style, the chibi style, grew on me. And I really like the tilt-shift thing. I'm worried about the performance issues, but I guess we'll find out. You know, I'm... I really was thinking hard and long about this. I was like, should I do normal mode just to play through the game? And the answer is I'm doing hero mode. So, double damage taken. No hearts. I did Wind Waker like this as well, and it benefited extremely greatly from it. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. Who the fuck has a palm tree in their house? Tossing and turning? What, Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little whoozy. I already like this arrangement. And the, uh... The sound of this little synthesizer keyboard thing, it just brings back Game Boy vibes without it being too much in the other direction. You are on Koholan Island. 
Eight-way movement. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Which, um... I'm gonna try not to, like, spoil the plot points. Even though it's a 20-year-old game. More than that. Um... But I, I really would like to kind of go over a couple things, like... The reason the monsters are here. Piranha plant. The reason the monsters are here when Link gets here is a very... There's a very interesting explanation for that. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? Saw it on the back of this shield. <sighs> kinda wish it wasn't the Hylian shield. Kinda wish it was that little... weird shield that was in all in, in the early Zelda games. Nice map. Um, yeah, now you have a shield, you don't have to equip it. It's just there. You just hold R and it's there. Not just the one with the cross, but the, um, the one in Link's Awakening was just a little bit blockier. I like the Hylian shield design. It's, it's at this point very classic, but I don't know. I, let me, let me Google Link's Awakening shield while we listen to the music in the village. Some interesting loading times we got here, huh? I think it's loading the whole world, which is why this is happening. There's no more, like, transition screens, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh. Oh, those strings are very nice. So, yeah, the, the one in the top middle. It kind of takes that blocky shield design from the first couple Zelda games and removes <laughs> removes the crucifixion imagery, just in case anyone was overly uh, Jesusy. So here's a better look at. I just like this. I just like this. I don't know. I can't help it. It's um, more on the style of Wind Waker. But all right, highly in shield. So be it. So let's see if we got these famed performance issues that everyone's been talking about. Um, that blur is gonna... I like the tilt shift, but I'm gonna have to get used to it. Hey man, when you wanna save, hit up the system screen, get there by opening subscreen. Don't ask me what that means, I'm just a kid. This is gonna confuse a lot of people that started Zelda with Breath of the Wild. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Urethra. Uh, ask me anything about the island if you get lost. Thanks, dude. I'm excited to see all the little details in the houses. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, there you go. You saw that? Just as it- well, right here. You know, just- just some frame dropping. In a game like this, I don't mind it as much, but yeah, it's- it's- it's a thing. Apparently they fixed it from E3 quite a bit, but... yeah. So, I'll try not to harp on that too much while I'm streaming the game and just enjoy the game. But if it happens, I have to point it out a couple times. Oh, not to say, uh, please call outside. It seems the old man, Orira, is a shy guy in person. Nice soup. Yeah, now the $60 price point. Again, I love Zelda, one of my favorite franchises of all time. Maybe second favorite. But, I have to say... I, I will be, um, critical of this when needed, because you have, um, a $60 game here... ...where Crash Bandicoot Remastered Remake Trilogy, whatever, uh, three games for 40 bucks... ...and Spyro, three games for 40 bucks. Someone said, and yet you paid $60 for it. Bitch, I'm streaming it for you! <laughs> How about some fishing, little buddy? Only charge you ten rupees, and I can't do that. Big lad. Friend. Vinny, this is Link, not a goose. 
Yeah, no, no, this isn't... Uh, Goose Game and Link's Awakening aren't the same game. There's geese in, in one game and not the other. There's chickens in this game. I'm fine, and you actually, I spent $70 on this shit. If you want to know the truth. Because of this. I got the Dreamer Edition because they restocked it on Amazon. I wanted to see what this, this was all about. Because I'm a sucker for Zelda collectibles, even if I don't have very many. I like the art book. It's not a huge art book, as you can see. It's, um, it's kind of small, and... You know, this is the kind of stuff in it. There's almost no, like, lengthy descriptions of what's happening. It's definitely not the Dead Cells art book. Just a bunch of concept art. So, yeah. See, the problem for me is I have such horrendous nostalgia for this game, I, I had no choice. Nintendo is just ringing my wallet. They, they just, they want the money. You fuckers. But yeah, the art book doesn't really have a lot going on in it. I don't regret it. I could put it on display or something, but... God damn it, Nintendo. Anyway, the good news is, you can watch this and not have to buy it yourself. So again, this is hero mode, no hearts. If I take damage, I'm... Omega fucked. This is the first appearance of this damn owl, you know. So you're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to attack or act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. They said you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. So you should go north now, to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there, Hoot. Thanks, Hootie. The owl doesn't speak nearly as much in this game. And doesn't, like, jape you into a false choice. So. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. But it's not the Master Sword. Well, now it's Zelda. So, this game... Oh, I like... I like the theme. This game... Ooh, there you go, there's some crust. Uh, this game has some really great stuff in it, for what was once... a handheld game. I just took one heart of damage, I'm almost dead now, great. They really pushed the GB original Game Boy to its limits with this game. And, you know, it suffered in some areas. It was still miraculous that a game like this could exist on the Game Boy. But where it suffered were the, um, you know, having to change items constantly, being in a menu forever. Like, you couldn't have a sword and shield out at the same time and also use other items. So... Will this Link also be in Smash Brothers? Oh god. We don't need another Link in Smash Brothers. I mean, this, again, the Chibi Link... Chi Chibi? How you say it? What, is it an anime? What is it, chat? Sorry, whenever I say a thing like that incorrect, like, minds explode. Uh, the, the, I like the style. I mean, it definitely grew on me, and playing it and seeing it in motion is nice. I think for Link's Awakening, it's, it's a good choice. Um, some of the new stuff in this game, like more seashells, uh, bo more bottles, and also more heart pieces, so you can collect more hearts overall.
I, I'm t Yo! I hear, yeah, the dungeon builder is, is here, but I'm not too interested in that anymore. Um, I hear that when you're running out of hearts, you'd better go find the big fairy. Why? Well, I have no idea. I'm just a kid. Okay, well, that's an interesting way for the map to, uh, unfold. And you can, you can pin. Okay, yeah, you can set little markers and stuff. I think it kind of blows my mind a little bit that a game that looks like this would even have any performance issues, but... I mean, what do I know? I don't make games. It seems like when the world loads in, it gets- it gets the worst. Yeah. I don't- I don't get it. Makeup, jewels, dresses, I want it all. God, I replayed this game. Listen, if you want more Link's Awakening stories and nostalgia, just watch my Link's Awakening stream from last year. But I played this game, like, every three or four months, I would start a new game. Most times I wouldn't finish it, but I would start a new game. I would just keep playing it. Just keep playing it. <laughs> I fucking love this game. My Bow Wow was so proud of his fine fur coat. This is my favorite Game Boy game, by the way, for anyone who had any... Any doubt of such things. Favorite Game Boy plus Game Boy Color. So. You know, I, it feels like it's been, it's very faithful. All the stuff is in the right spots. It has the same level of, like, limitations. But also, some quality of life. Some jaggies on the grass, too. Thoughts on the Oracle games being remade like this? Cool. Sure. They got the engine. How about we get both for $60 instead of, um, one game for 60 And while they're at it, they can, um, add a third game in there. It's like Capcom releasing Devil May Cry 1 for $20, Devil May Cry 2 for $20, and then DMC 3 at a later date for another $20 when they released the Trilogy Collection for 40 on other consoles. I am the Lawnmower Man. Yeah! Yeah! Okay. Remember, I won an Enderman on a crane game. I'm gonna fuck this up. Give me that Josh. No, oh, huh? Okay. Okay, now... <laughs> now I know. Gotta get that Josh this time. You know what? I'm gonna get the purple root. Get the purple root so I can play more. I hear there's actual physics in this crane game this time. You kidding me with that rupee? Don't don't fall out. Don't fall out. Okay, we're good. Fall out. Oh, come back when you have the cash. Okay, I have the cash. job. Uh-oh, botch job. Oh. I like that the red rupee is harder to get than the purple rupee.
There's the Josh. Yeah, get in there. Okay. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh! Almost fell out! Yeah, this- the crane game is- is pretty fucking different now. Um, it's Area 51 news. Someone ended up with a sign. Someone went to Area 51's thing with a sign that said, Clap that alien booty. So, I mean, listen, if you watched my stream last night, you know I talked about Area 51 forever. But I just wanted to let you know about that. I thought you might enjoy that chat. I'm not gonna get this anyway, I don't think. Wow. Look at that. Hmm. Nah. Maybe I don't need the red rupee right now. I'll just stick with the Josh and the heart piece. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't count how many games you've seen him in now. The original flavor text was like... Um... He's starting to appear in more and more games, that Josh. Well, you won the Yoshi doll. We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Hang on. I just want to get some more rupees real quick. doing some work around the village. This is what Link would be doing if he decided to stay on Koholint forever and not wake up the windfish. He would just be like a handyman around the around the village and just like mow the lawn. Put the crane game dude out of business. Oh, secret seashell. And then there's the, the bow as well for... Uh... Hmm. I'll try to get... I only have two tries, so I'll see what I can do. I hear the seashell is a nightmare to get. The, the seashells are this game's, like, Koroks. Are you kidding me, mate? Are you kidding me, mate? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, fuck. Oh, no! Oh, it's so... so close. Scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop it up. Come on, scoop it in. Scoop it over! Over for a second! Oh, you fuck. Oh, man. I got it so close. Let me check something out here. Um, is there any... No, there's no options. Never mind. I think I have a gambling problem. How about this? How about... Uh, let me... Uh, I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Why don't I actually, like, play the game a little bit? That sounds- that sounds like it would be good. We don't need to do crane game right now. Also, um, I'm not stealing from the shop and having my character named Thief. Just not doing it, chat. Shovels, 200. Heart piece. I can't afford any of that, and the bow's not there yet, so... Hello, Marin. Marin is one of the best characters. I love Marin. Hi, Taryn went to the forest to look for toadstools, but I'd rather sing. Listen to this, it's called The Ballad of the Windfish. Here sleeps the flying rooster. What's 
a nice song. So there's more seashells, which means I have to be, like, really on point. I have to, like, find them shells. Because I'm, I'm gonna miss a lot, just based on, you know, thinking like, Oh, this area is clear, and then there's gonna be shell there. Yep, those are my boys. I'm Papal. <laughs> a little on the nose, huh? Pleased to meet you. I'll be lost in the hills later, so keep a lookout for me here. Mamashal. Will you give the Yoshi doll to my babby? Ah, thank you. You're indeed a generous person. I'll give you this in return. So this is the beginning of the uh, dreaded and famed trade game. So let's see, you got a pineapple, you got some babby drawings. This is another new collectible. Mario stuff. Germa's a father? Why are people- oh. <laughs> is that a Korok? Are there like some little Koroks here? Yeah. So, what, um, how many voice actors has Link had at this point? Mario 1, since 1996. Since Link has been given a voice, several. Oh, that ribbon, I'll need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Lucky, thanks, here's your dog food. I still- I want to know why you have a skull in here. Also, that floor is very shiny. Every game he gets a new voice? Not entirely. I mean, depending on if he's Small Link or Big Link. And then, um... Nobuyuku... Uh, Nobuyuki... I don't remember the dude's name. The one from Ocarina. He... stopped doing Link. Adult Link, after a certain point. And then they got a new Adult Link. I don't know if this is a different Link than Child Link from previous games, but I think it is. At least four voices? Yeah, maybe. Maybe even more than that. Nobuyuki Hiyama. There you go, that's the dude's name. And he's in Smash now because of uh, Dragon Quest character. So. Hello there. What's that, Yev? It's canned food. For heaven's sake, man. Give that to me, please. I'm gonna lose it if I can't get that cane. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll take that. Crikey. <laughs> that was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. Good deal. Now you can really get this quest started early. Thank you again. That was yummy. Oh, I, I like this little, like, area. This little beach area. It's not like you live next to a beach. But now you have to bring the beach into your home. Vinny, I saw a video comparing how strong each Link was physically experience-wise and equipment-wise, and they ranked A Link to the Past, Awakening, Oracle Link as the strongest Link. I, I'd like to see that video. I am interested in that video. Um, someone said that there are monsters about, which is why... Uh, the dude couldn't make a little hammock area on the actual beach. And the truth is, these monsters, from what I understand, just started becoming, um, assholes. Because Link arrived. This is a bookshelf. What? You can see that? Okay. Nice passive-aggressive, um... 
Nice passive-aggressive flavor text you got there, game. It's, uh... Yeah. Zeltek? I like Zeltek's videos. I like their... They're really good videos to just zone out to. So you do it, hold A, release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you're cast. Moving L and then press A. Okay. So I wonder if they redid fishing entirely as well. This remix. Some some severe jaggies. Oh shit, the fish. Oh. You know you want this. Eat. 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 Yeah, fishing has changed. Ah, eat. Sorry, little buddy. You're terrible at this. Oh, at least I get another chance. Gotcha. That's a Lunker. Nice one. 26 rupees. Got a new lore. Oh. Okay. Let's mark the occasion with a piece of heart. Yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, new fishing is good. Oh, I should have used a different lore. damn bottle this time, chat. I don't care how I have to do it, I'm getting the goddamn bottle. No fish, fuck you! Can't let the fish win. Finally, the emote comes back. It's useful again. Oh, another fish has appeared. So that's gonna prove to be a bit of an obstacle. Why don't you take this? Take this. Have this fish. Have it. How about it, mate? You don't know if this is here. This is fine. Yes!
Okay, I'm gonna need this because this is hero mode, so there's no hearts. I'm good for now. Let's go do some dungeon. Fishing is fun. No more screen transitions, just all loaded in one go, which maybe wasn't the most wise decision for the sake of the performance, but, you know. Oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest much of the mystery you will find on this uncharted island. Koholan Island. Uncharted Koholan Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. Have you visited Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you will find in this forest. Big lads. Man, I love having the shield on the shoulder button. I'm actually going to use the shield in this game for the first time ever. I mean, you use it. You use it, but it's it's almost like counterintuitive to have a shield on. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. That's a cool thing to just tell a random stranger you meet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be blocking a lot in hero mode. I can- I can already tell. Also, I just had a thought, I will never know what the hearts in this game look like. Link, squeeze their hogs. Still got plenty of pep. Come see me when you feel like you can't go on. Um, I'll take a... You got a fairy for that bottle? No? Okay. Okay, that's different. The combat with some of the enemies feels a little bit more... It, you know... Like, there's a little bit more to it. Not a ton, but... This isn't exactly Sekiro, but uh, it'll do. Dumbass. Hmm. Wow, what, what, what? <laughs> nice, nice restore point. <laughs> um, well, now my save file is going to have a one next to it. So... <laughs> the first of, I'm gonna guess, 47 deaths. Double double toil and trouble, toadstool mixes, mixed with powder, makes powder for tricks. Uh-huh. Who do you think is the strongest Link? Um... Goron Link. Oh, or, or giant, yeah, fierce deity Link. If we're gonna be, I mean, if you want to talk about like overall without masks and special powers, then I don't know. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. 
so hero mode... I'm very okay with hero mode, even if it is going to be a little bit annoying. Just because the game was way too easy. It was way too easy. Now hero mode is too hard. This is too hard, please! Can I say how happy I am that the pieces of power do not break my eardrums when I get them? That music was so fucking annoying in the original. Yeah. Vinny, is it true you will do a one-off of DMC2? It is true. Can't get that heart piece yet. Vinny, all the YouTube comments on Nintendo's DMC2 video are just about you. I mean, who else wanted this fucking game? Like, who- who- who was the game for? Aside from Capcom's wallet, so that they don't have to release a trilogy collection on the Switch and make $20 less. But, I mean, th this logic is going to fail because no one is going to buy DMC2 anyway. They're just gonna buy one and three. And the weird thing is that it was promoted at a Nintendo Direct. It was like, oh, here's DMC2, everybody. You excited? And I'm just like, no, not even me. Even with all my memes. Something tells me I'll be visiting this fairy quite a bit. Vinny, what DMC games are you going to stream to completion? Why don't you start with the first one? It has some pretty cheesy voice acting. Now, I appreciate the sentiment, and I've only ever played DMC3, and I may eventually stream that because I like DMC3. But if you're newer to the stream, please understand that I get that request for almost every game. So... Eh, I can't keep up. You know, and as much as I like the DMC franchise, I think 3 is the only one I'd reasonably inter be interested in. Vinny already forgot that he played 5. No, I played 5 to completion. I figured they knew that. I love that game. That was the, one of my games of the year so far. I need to get the, um... The Witch's Brew. I will say, Grezzo did a pretty good job with the, the feel of... Like, this feels like a good, solid uh, engine for Zelda. Performance issues aside, and that annoying, blurry tilt-shift. Which... 
I'm used to at this point, but I still don't. I think it should have been a little less. I'm sure they, they played with that. Scaled it back, put it back up, scaled it back, put it back up. So, I mean, eh, I get it. I understand it. I, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm used to it. Good job! Use it on your enemies and see what happens. You run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools. I'll make you some more. Come back without a toadstool and you may have to pay the price for my leftovers. I tried to turn the rat into a person. Vinny, on the official Devil May Cry Twitter account, the only way they were able to promote DMC2 on the Switch was to say that Dante rocks a cool new jacket. <sighs> Beast in game is how they were able to, they should have promoted it. I like it just sets them on fire and they die. That's nice. More power? God, these things drop so frequently. Forgot about that. Normally, he's supposed to... Like, <laughs> he's supposed to go around... Oh, here we go. He's supposed to go all over the place. Thought he was just gonna get stuck over there. Yeah. Last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool, and then I had the darndest dream I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. Oh, for those that don't know, you can't advance any further unless you do that. Like, it'll just put you back to the beginning of the um, this screen. So you have to do that. You have to save Taryn before you can get to the treasure chest. Take the king, go to the tail cave, retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Hoot. Three lines. The worst part is having to wait for the owl to fly in and out. But, yeah, it's definitely not Ocarina of Time owl. So this is later. Gopanga Swamp. This is a little later we get here. You know, there's a library in the village. Oh, thanks, dude. Like likes are some of my most hated Zelda enemies. Losing your shield in Zelda is not not very fun. Hey, you know what would would have been a cool option to have? Toggle the tilt shift on or off. And them chunky frames. Right here. Right here! Right here, chunkiest! Man, I kind of wish Hero Mode had some hearts. Maybe like 25% of the original amount of hearts. But that's okay. I'm just glad Hero Mode was available from the start. I'm not gonna go to the swamp yet.
It makes finding heart pieces a lot more satisfying, sure. What was your favorite year in gaming? Uh, Vinny, what was your favorite year in gaming? Mine is 2004, they just said. Half-Life 2, Metal Gear Solid 3. Um, 98, I remember vividly. Zelda, Ocarina of Time, Metal Gear Solid, Turok 2. Um, many more that I can't think of at the moment. I just remember that was a good year for a video game. Let's see. Best games of 1998. I think Banjo-Kazooie was released. Oh, Half-Life. Half-Life, StarCraft. Um, there's more that I haven't played, like Thief. Banjo-Kazooie came out that year, Grim Fandango, Baldur's Gate, uh, Resident Evil 2 came out that year, Xenogears, Crash Bandicoot, Warped, Rogue Squadron, I forgot, that was a really good year for N64, Rogue Squadron, Turok 2, and Ocarina of Time, all holiday season. Um, Spyro came out that year. Tribes, the first Tribes. Mario Party 1. Tomb Raider 3, whatever. Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, that was a good year. Brave Fencer Musashi was great. Body Harvest was pretty good. Pokemon came out. Yellow Pikachu game. Medieval. Yeah, there was a lot of good games in 1998. Many of which I didn't even play. Yellow Pikachu game <laughs> is what, like what a parent would say. Hey, can I get that yellow Pikachu game, please? Poke Pokachu Pikamon, thank you. There's a heart piece here, so... <laughs> Good. Four hearts now, yeah. That'll help. Vinny, have you tried Damon X Machina? I played the demo, I liked it. I considered buying it if there weren't a million other games coming out. I was never a huge mech game fan, but I, I thought it was... It was pretty good. Yeah, the, the most recent demo, not the old demo. The the most recent demo fixed a lot of issues. So, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. If there was, like, again, if this was Wii U times, and there was a big, like, drought for video games, I probably would have picked that up. If it ever goes on sale for like 20 bucks in the future, and, you know, I'm done with all the stuff that I have, I'd consider it. It's Nintendo published. That's all you needed to say. It'll be on sale for $59.87, considering Nintendo published it. Or just never be on sale. This game is too easy! Vinny, are you gonna stream Luigi's Mansion next month? Day one.
Vinny, how would you respond to me emailing you my credit card info and social security number? I would probably just direct you to Area 51. With that level of intellect, they could use you over there. Top scientists need you. You can free them aliens to both get Half-Life 3 and a Switch that doesn't lag when you play Link Link's Awakening and clap in them alien cheeks. Did anyone die yet? I like how that's the question that everyone's got on the tip of their tongue. And rightfully so. I don't think anyone died yet. One guy did? You have a source on that? Two people arrested, no shots fired. Stone beaks. There is one thing that I'd like to show you if you haven't seen, which is the um, the gif of the Naruto runner. Let's see if I can get that for you. There we go. So yeah, this was on the news. You've probably seen this. If you have, um, if you've been on the internet at all today, but, yeah, it's real. They did exactly what they said they were going to do. What a time to be alive. Turn aside the spined ones with a shield. Right, right, right. So yeah, the, the owl statue is hints. It's the hint system for the dungeons. It's a very faithful recreation. Oh, there's that noise. It means there's still a treasure on the screen. Boy, these things are just dropping like candy. The, um, crack on the left you need a bomb for, and you don't get a bomb until later, so. This is one of those dungeons you actually have to come back to if you want to collect everything. Joy! Stay. Stay. <laughs> I wonder what Grezzo is going to do next. Grezzo made this port. I made this. If they're gonna do another, like, remake from top to bottom, I think I would like to see... Another Star Fox 64 remake. No, 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 no. Yeah, Oracle would be fine, but if it was non-Zeld. What if it was non-Zeld? What is a Nintendo game that needs a desperate... remake? Vinny, do you think this game is worth full price? Um, no, but your nostalgia will make you buy it anyway, like it did me. And... 
You know, it depends on if you really want this experience. You're gonna pay the price anyway, so... Uh, Mother 3, that's not gonna happen. Mario Land 2, that would be cool. Um, Earthbound, that would be cool. F-Zero, the original would be nice. Metroid 1 already got a remake. Super Metroid does not need a remake, in my opinion, but okay. Maybe. Uh, Mario Sunshine. I think that game still holds up. I wouldn't mind just the GameCube version on Switch. Just better resolution would be fine. I'd be fine with that. Wario Land? Ooh, one of the Wario Land games would be nice. Jet Force Gemini? Well, that's a rare game. Meaning it's really hard to find. No, it's it's a good game, Jet Force. It could... I think they did a, uh... It was on Rare Replay. Which I forgot that it was on Rare Replay entirely. Wow, I can jump, use shield, and sword all at the same time without having to go into my menu every three seconds. Vinny, Ocarina of Time, but a real remake. I... Th you're... Stupid. Um, I love the remake that they did of Ocarina of Time. Sorry to be spicy. I don't like to be too spicy, but that is, um... That is a hot take. The Majora's Mask remake left a little to be desired. Still very good, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in that game I didn't realize at the time that they had changed, and not for the better. Ocarina of Time remake, I think, would genuinely look good on the Switch if they just uh, upscaled the resolution. And they could release it for 20 bucks, which they won't, so it'll be 60. God damn it. A Sunshine remake with all the cut content would be awesome. That would be great. I mean, Wind Waker would benefit from the same stuff, but I'm pretty sure they used all the cut content in Twilight Princess. And we already got a Wind Waker upscale that did not have that stuff. I... Yeah, Nintendo's remakes can sometimes be kind of bare bones. At least they're not square. Yeah, at least they're not up uploading their games or releasing their games with, like, severe audio issues and just... Oh god, square, please. Are they really just using a splort sound effect that they found on YouTube? Another good remake would be Chrono Trigger. Uh, yeah, I would love a Chrono Trigger remake, except, I, again, I don't think Square could handle it. Do you remember Chrono Trigger Resurrection? Before that was shut down? Oh, creepy skulls. Creepy skeletons. To be fair, they pretty much fixed the Steam port. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. They fixed it, they updated it. I, listen, I love Square. I want them to be as good as they've ever been, because I love them so much. But... They tend to just cut corners. Bzz, bzz, outsider! Uh, jeez. Did you know that there is a burger in the new Zelda game? <laughs> jeez. Okay. Who didn't see that coming? What of a Castlevania remake? 
Uh, I, I specifically asked for Nintendo developed games, but if we're gonna just go general, then yeah, I would, um, uh, they, they already remade Castlevania The Adventure on WiiWare. Which they should just release. Castlevania Adventure, not The Adventure, but yeah. Did you ever play Star Fox Command? No. I think the best case for a remake is a game that is flawed and is already not perfect. So, this game, I think, is genuinely a good candidate for a remake because the limitations of the Game Boy. Mother One? Sure. Path opens in the bloom... bloomers. Uh, yeah, Mother One would be good. I've been told that Mother One... I haven't played it. I've obviously played Earthbound and Mother Three. Love them. I've heard Mother One is just a slog. Just a very, very antiquated NES game. Yep. Zelda 2 remake? Actually, yeah. I'd be down for that. This is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, has the power to wake the windfish. Collect all the instruments. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north to Kopanga Swamp. Hoot indeed. I think a Zelda 2 remake, but more of a reimagining using the story, because there's some, like, really dark creepiness in Zelda 2 that could be explored in a different playstyle. I- you know I love Zelda 2, so I'm biased. I'd be fine if they just released it with some fixes. And it was t still a 2D side-scrolling Zelda game. And they just kind of fixed the... Because there's a lot of problems with that game. Spell is called Spell. And you don't know what to do with it. There's, like, hidden things, like... Bagu is in the swamp. Not Bagu. Yeah, Bagu, like, you have to find him in, like, a how in, like, a random bush. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. That's right. A whole gang of moblins. And it's for real, they all went to the house. Yeah, that house. They did something at Bow Wow's house. It's a really bad scene with the moblins. So, I mean... Ah. Okay. I mean, even Zelda 1. If you... Yeah, Jeff has a good point. If they did something with both Zelda 1 and 2... I love that. I love those, those, um, original adventures, and, you know, I think there could be... There's room in there for, for more... For more stuff. I love the, the destroyed Hyrule, or whatever it's called, timeline. The village needs help, Link! Alright, yo, but after the crane game. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Dumbass I am. Oh, right back to its original position. I said, fuck it, let me get this instead. This is attainable. It's just the seashell that, that is, a, is the pain in the ass. Every other item so far has been locked in there.
<laughs> I had I, it was so close before. Fuck. <sighs> it's it's really hard to know exactly how much you need to hold the button. There we go. There we go. There we go. That should rattle around nicely. Ah, fuck, it's getting closer, though. Get the shield? I have a shield already. I have that exact shield. <laughs> this is it. This is the one. This is oh! Oh. What? What? Perfect. This is perfect. What? No! Will you cock, 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 cock? It's the rupee's fault. The rupee is preventing it from going down. And in my estimation, now the shell is preventing the ruby, rupee, rupee from being grabbed, grabbed. Here we go. Here we go. Get it in. Get it on! Thank you, Rupee. You saved me. I don't know why I said those things. That only took, what, a hundred rupees? hundred and ten. Vinny, get the shield. Interesting you should say get the shield. Considering I have the shield. Yeah. Oh, we can see what a heart looks like now. And the bag I have too, it's just more powder. It's just psilocybin powder. Recouped some of the losses, at least. Is Get the Shield going to turn into Vinny? Will you fight Ozma? Hmm. I gotta be honest, that sound sounds a bit like the fart trumpet from Yoshi's New Island. It's comical. I think Terrence taking a nap at home. I don't know how he can sleep on such a nice day. Makes me want to sing! Boy, you're unaware of what's happening in this village, aren't you? And you're only, like, down the block. It's terrible, my Bow Wow was dognapped by Moblins. Please, somebody help my poor Bow Wow.
I mean, good on them for trying to, like, kidnap a chain chomp and succeeding. Those things are fucking dangerous. They deserve that chain chomp. They're the new old lords of the chomp. Pieces restore health. That makes me want to find more of them. There we go. Before I go that way, let me just see if there's anything else I can do here. Alright, oh, yeah, I can go this way. I don't think I need to do this now. Even though I just played this game in April of last year, you're still gonna find fine memory has its limitations. How can one kill that which is already dead? You picked up an arrow, too bad you don't have a bow to deliver the owl. Can I move one of these things now, chat? You need the bracelet first? Okay. Also, thank you, Kit Boga, for the raid. Appreciate that. Hi. Welcome, everybody. If you see frame rates um, get crusty every now and then, that's, uh, that's the game's fault, not mine. And to answer your question, uh, I'm not sure this is worth $60. This would have been a good $40 uh, game. So, hope that helps. But... Again, if you have severe nostalgia for Link's Awakening like I do, you will give Nintendo your money and feel bad about it anyway. It's weird, too, because after I found out this game was coming out, I was like, Ah, oh, I just played it! I just streamed it last year! But I wasn't even that upset, because Link's Awakening is such a good game, and as I said earlier, it was a game I replayed every, like, couple months. So, it's just a nice, comfortable world to be in. I don't know if that makes sense. It just brings back good memories, and I love... I love Koholint Island. And every frame is so dense. It's just so much going on in every frame. Vinny, I've never played Link's Awakening. Is it good for new players? Oh, it's a, it's a great Zelda game, to be sure. And I think uh, people who have never played it, you should try it out, even if it's just the DX version that came out on the Game Boy Color years ago. But if you got extra money to burn, so far I'm thinking this remake is pretty good. I mean, my complaints aside, it is a quality game so far. What you do here so early? You can't come in yet, I'm still sitting here! And this is the bonus area, this is new. Or the, you know... Put your stuff together.
make your own dungeon. Barely. The windfish in name only, for it is neither. Oh. Yeah, the photos are gone, but now there's dungeon creator. Who's the suspicious looking runt? Alright, boys. Let's get rid of him. Very gener generous with the, uh, the points where you load back in after death. And on hero mode, that is much appreciated. You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt! <laughs> I can't take that seriously. Madame M Meow Meow? You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you! Look at my arms! Ooh! I don't know why. <laughs> what are these noises? Also, if you've played 2D Zelda before, I think I would recommend Hero Mode right from the start. In this remake, when you go to rescue Bow Wow, he eats Link and Link dies, and the, the game ends. I thought it was a bold decision. Stylistically meant to be bowl. Hoot, that is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. Topanga Swamp from Boy Meets World. Can't go this way, right? No. So yeah, the chomp is amazing and will um, destroy your enemies. And you know, you will hear the lamentations of them. Nice chomp sound effect game. This game <laughs> might be using some, uh, sound effect library sounds. I pretty much stick to myself, me and my letters. My name's Wright. The only thing I don't like about my hobby is that I never receive a response. Burb. What's up, Burb? This is a SimCity reference. These pieces of power and the acorns keep dropping at the same fucking time. Music, the fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Yes. We're here, dude. Oh, 
Oh shit, the chain chomp tells you when to dig. I don't have a shovel yet, though. Go steal the shovel? How dare you? I could afford it in like a couple minutes if I get another 50 rupee from the crane game. No, I don't have a problem, chat. I don't have a problem gambling, chat. Please. There's nothing weird about wanting to go back and play the grain, the crane grain, <laughs> the gang green more. This is fine. I'm gonna get that shovel. I'm gonna do it. If there's another 50 rupee available, or I could do fishing. I mean, it's not that hard to make rupees in this game. Okay. We're almost there. Just, just gotta, 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 gotta get a purple. Purple is available. Oh, let's get the perp. You gotta let go at the right time, because it, it moves fast. Got it. And you only have one chance per button. I'm surprised that rupee doesn't slip out, like the shell does. I need ten more, nine more. That's- that's easy. Link doing chores again. Again, if Link was stuck here forever, you know he would just have a paper route. I think the villagers are leaving rupees in the bushes and grass for him. Like, oh, he's a special boy. We need to... Let's do something nice for him. Everybody pool a couple rupees together. I mean, he's just gonna keep cutting the grass in the bushes. We'll just hide a couple in there for him. I could go fishing, but I only need, like, four more, so... Two more. Come out. Come out! One more. Respawning grass. Game not realistic. Shovel. <laughs> Sounds like Malroth from Builders, too. Vinny, isn't respawning grass just growing? Oh, fuck, you're right. It's more realistic than I thought. Oh, now the, the bow and arrow is here for 980 rupees. Jesus. Well, I've rescued the- you know, I've rescued him, but I need him, so, uh, I'm not bringing him back yet. So, who's going to be the first person on YouTube or stream... <laughs> ...to... ...mow 980 rupees worth of grass to get the bow at this point in the game? It ain't gonna be me.
They're gonna be like, oh man, if I do this, I'm gonna get so many subscribers. Probably take like three hours. Maybe not three hours. What do you think, chat? There we go. Remember, there's double seashells this time around, so... You think about 1.5 hours? I think about two hours minimum. Because you get, like, what? Each time you respawn the grass, you might get ten. Uh, so, like, yeah, maybe an hour and a half, yeah. God, there's so many more seashells. Holy fuck. Astral Chain Chomp? That's a crossover I'd pay for. Maybe not $60 worth, but... Chomp Legion? Oh my god, Chain Chomp Legion DLC. It works! Yo, what if... Astral Chain... ...was influenced by this game, and Chain Chomps in general? And we just found the secret. So weird. Chain Chomp... Okay, why don't we just send Chain Chomp after all the bosses in this game? Link is no longer needed. Wow, I could have just gotten that instead of... Well, you know what? It's going towards the bow. I'm saving up for a bow. It's fine. Thanks, buddy. I really, I like the way this remake plays a lot. I just want to say that. Let me point out the positives, because I've already shit on the game's price, the frame rates, the crusts. Um, but I want to say I, I like the way it plays. The eight directions are nice as well. The uh, the sword feels good. In Link's Awakening, you know, you, your sword was only 90 degrees. Now it's full 180. Even a little more than that. I do really like the visuals. I like the way the, the dungeons look. I love the sound. Like, most of the music has been good so far. Not all of it, but most of it's been really... ...enjoyable. I do think that this is a good game for people to... ...if they've only ever played Breath of the Wild and they want to get into classic Zelda, this is a good place to start. But... Also, you're getting Nintendo... Super Nintendo Online. Link to the Past comes with the, the online subscription. That might be a better place to start. It might be worth doing that first, then this. Or doing that first, and then playing Link's Awakening DX, the Game Boy version, Game Boy Color version. So, I think these are all wise options. You can't really go wrong. Someone said, just make sure you get to the Dark World before writing up your thoughts on Link to the Past. Yeah, there was a post that we were talking about that uh, was, was very funny. I think they had just gotten the Master Sword, and that was it. And they judged the game and said it was crap. Link to the past. 
They're like, I completed everything. I got... What was it, Dave? I gotta... Yeah, a second. Enjoy the ambience for a second. It was, um... I had always planned on playing older Zelda games, given how much I love Breath of the Wild. I was advised to play Link to the Past. There's comparisons to Okami and God of War. But it's just okay. The game is just okay. To be fair, I haven't actually completed it yet, but I'm almost done. I just picked up the Master Sword after completing the tower. I'm on my way to Hyrule Castle. I'm about to be disappointed. And I'm all around disappointed by it. So, uh... They said... My activity log says I'm under five hours. I'd be pretty mad if I had spent $60 on this game, to be honest. Am I missing something? I don't know where this post came from. I just find it hilarious. Is that trolling? That's gotta be a joke, right? That's like satire? That's like the Meverse comments. Why can't Metroid crawl? Yes, there are shy guys in this game, and also weird bizarro Kirby's as well. Vinny, not everyone plays video games. They are aware of God of War and Okami. Okami's kind of a deep cut to some extent. That was a weird defense of that. Uh, okay then. But yeah, I mean, satire or not, it's, it's impossible to tell anyway. Because of Metroid crawling. I wouldn't know. Oh, damn, I missed that key earlier. Let me get that now. Yeah, my friend Tyler is playing through Link to the Past for the first time. And he has only ever played Breath of the Wild. And he said that he's enjoying it, he's getting the pendants, and he hasn't- He's about up to the same- same place as that other- that poster. The fun poster. And, um... He really likes it. I told him, you know, that this game is also good, and he said he might wait for it to be on sale. I said... Hmm... I don't know about that. Gonna be waiting a long time. I'll probably just let him borrow this when I'm done with it. those weird things that Link's Awakening did. I just, like, I really enjoy the take on the 2D environments. Because, again, it was, like, kind of a throwback to Zelda 1, where Zelda 1 had some side-scrolling segments when you picked up items, and then it was like, hey, let's throw some Goombas in there. Fuck it. Get some Goombas. Uh... Huh.
okay. So it looks like, uh, there was not, in fact, a checkpoint right before the mid-boss. Ow! Moments before a disaster. Sometimes it sounds like Link is saying, OOF! <laughs> Wrong button. That wasn't the jump button. Vinny, you're not going to get the good ending. I died five minutes into my playthrough of this game. I knew it was, you know, I knew what I was doing when I chose hero mode. I knew this was going to be a disaster for me. I can stop doing that line now since you've read it, huh? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna click on your name, and I want to find out how many times you've said that today. And then I'm going to diagnose you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. You know, it wasn't that funny. It wasn't seven times funny. But I still appreciate your candor, and your... I appreciate your commitment to the joke. And... I'm just grateful you're watching the stream. Also, you've been diagnosed with band. Which band? Um, some 41. You know what, in honor of UFO Day, or whatever the fuck today is now, um, in honor of Area 51, Blink-182 is the band you've been diagnosed with. Which band has the song about being the friction in your jeans? That's Fallout Boy? Okay. Now, what does that lyric mean on a deeper level? It's kind of fucked up in this game. There's usually like hearts, like with wings over here, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, yep, no more. No more of that shit. Suck. Oh, 
Oh, another really nice change that is, like, completely obvious is... Normally in Link's Awakening, even if you just touched one of these jugs, these pots, these, um... Pot Britons, it would give you this message, and it was really annoying. So this time you have to try to lift it before it... ...tells you that you're stupid. Ooh. Ooh. Boo! Even the noise is exactly the same. Yeah, there's a lot of Mario things in this game. That was another weird aspect of it that I always enjoyed. You can pick up pots and stones, and you don't have to assign it to a button this time. Praise Jesus. Is that... Is that the motherfucking stock? Yep. That's the same sound effect when Picard destroyed his... <laughs> his priceless artifact. Royalty-free... destruction noise. Fuck you, game. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's true. And also, Villager's, um, hot move in Smash is the same sound effect. How many more years? How many more years do we have to hear this sound effect? All real sound was replaced by stock sounds. I propose that's the next big beam. I propose that instead of using Half-Life 1 sounds, that everyone just use generic, common stock sound effects to replace every sound on a video. Shit. Better idea, Hanna-Barbera sound effects. Could work. Piranha plants. But there's a lot of people here, like, kind of confused. It's like, oh, okay, this is what this game is? So this is attack order, if I'm not mistaken. I just forgot the, the attack order. I have to talk to the owl. Oh yeah, these can't be destroyed, unless you throw a bottle at them. I mean, it counts as a bottle, the name of it is Bottle Grotto, so... Didn't he yell at them? Um, my pro controller doesn't appear to have an input. So it's Paul's voice first, and then what? Um, God. And then, then what is it? It's, um, then this, the scutal. Okay. 
Mr. Scutal is next. I like that the spears have some physics. It's kind of fun. This bat needs to fuck off. Bat, you're gonna accidentally kill me. Scutal last bat first. Oh, thanks, dude. I should have just fucking found the owl statue. God damn it. It was like my Minecraft teleporter. <laughs> Shit's broke, yo. Vinny, that's the owl stitch. This one? First defeat the imprisoned Pole's voice, last skeletal Stelphos. Yeah, this was a very, very confusing part as a kid, and it took me a very, very long time. I think I accidentally figured it out. I remember having some issues with this for a long time, and Dungeon 2 being my limit for a little while. Because I didn't know what the fuck a Pole's voice was, and I didn't read the instruction manual because I'm a dope. I'm a dummy. Also, if it had said rabbit first, I would have been like, oh, rabbit, yeah, kill the rabbit first, and then the scutal. But I, you know, I was fucking, like, say, seven, eight years old when this game came out. Or if it was Zelda 1, and you were in Japan, and you had this, the Famicom, you'd have to scream into your microphone to kill the Paul's voice. That sound effect is going to annoy me forever. <laughs> what? I, I ask this every single time, but what was the name of Picard's priceless artifact? That the Red Letter Media Review parodied using that sound effect? It was the Neskin Curl? The Curlin Neskar? The Curlin Neskar. Wow, I actually kind of remembered this time. I kind of want to show that on stream. I think I will, actually. I'm going to show you after this dungeon. Can someone get me a timestamp for that? <laughs> Here it is. Thank you. You got me a video, Lunchbox. Thank you. Anyway, here's a clown. Don't look at the clown. I can't move, but I am still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. Wait, if this is a clown that juggles, juggles does that make it a juggalo? Sorry. Dumbass I am. I forgot about this phase. Um, it is very possible 
that this will get claimed, but this is from the Red Letter Media Review of Star Trek Generations. Oh my god. I'm the workshop of the Master of Dark Radio. This object is over 12,000 years old. Look, he loves it. He can't believe it. The Curlin civilization died out thousands of years ago. It, it is extraordinarily rare to find a figurine intact. Professor, this is an incredible find. It's yours, Jean-Luc. He loves it. Oh, no. No. Wait, this isn't from the Red Letter Media Review. This is just a clip this? of the show. Graciously, Mr. Picard. Thank you. Now, now, fast forward to is the it? movie, Star Trek Generations. Yes! He finds it and just sets it aside. Is this it? In, um, in the Red Letter Media Review, when he sets it down, they just keep playing the click, uh, the click, the clip over and over and over again. Yeah. That. I'm wondering maybe we can get that clip or click, if you will. At least he didn't chuck it. That's true. Oh, you got it, Dave. Okay, thank you. Right. Yeah, here it is. This is why this sound effect will forever be in my memory. No, no matter what happens, I will always have this in mind. It's because of this. so amazed by an artifact. Professor, this is an incredible find. Shit, who needs this? <laughs> he just could not say enough good things about this this thing. In fact, it looked like he was gonna, was gonna make an artifact in his pants. And Professor Galen even said, it's yours, Picard. And Picard was like, No. How can I accept this? Psh, whatever. Anywho, so he didn't bother to take it with him, and they beat. Which is weird to me, because that was written by the same people. Now I can't fucking stop hearing it. God damn it. Um, it was written. The movie was written by the same people that did the show, and yet it turned into like a dumb action movie. Whereas they were writing all good things, which is the finale of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Alongside with the movie. So it's just astounding how the quality of one can be so much lower than the other. But then again, I don't write movies, so I don't know. Great, I have to do this boss with one HP. That's gonna be fun. Vinny, I think the movie was good. Oh, studio interference, sure, that could be it. I yeah, I don't hate generations. I think it's kinda dumb. I, I always thought it was a little weird that Picard would go back in time into the Nexus and bring Kirk back with him just so he could punch the bad guy. Or like, why didn't he go back to before Malcolm McDowell did all the bad stuff? Just like the re review says. The, I, this is all in the Red Letter Media review. But anyway, we're talking about Zelda now. Let's see if I can do this without taking any damage. Smooth bottle could actually do some some serious damage to Link. What are we up to? Twelve deaths? Okay. Remember, I predict forty-seven. 
But I also haven't found a fairy fountain yet. Well, I found a fountain, but I haven't found fairies I can put in the bottle yet. So, I'm assuming when I get those, I can bring them to dungeons, it'll be a little bit better. Okay, now I can only take one hit during the boss. I wonder if Link is on a weird angle, like a, a weird tilted angle, like um, Link Between Worlds, when he looks down or up. <clears throat> like that one image. Vinny, have you heard Liam Gallagher's new album? <laughs> no, I have not. What is it called? Why Me, Why Not? Because he ends all of his tweets with the name of his album. Who wrote the songs, Liam? Not me. Why not? My brother isn't around to write the songs for me. <laughs> he co-wrote all of them? Okay, well, if he co-wrote them, that's better than the previous ones, at least. At least he's trying. It's not- he's written some decent songs here and there. I don't know what the fuck his brother's doing lately, but the past couple songs he's put out have been as interesting as Lint, so... And I loved Who Built the Moon. I thought that was a great album. Lint is pretty interesting. bad guy. There we go. Yo, hero mode is fucking hard. The only upgrade I want. The only upgrade I want in this game is just to find some fairies that I can put in bottles. Oh, that and the, the extra armor, the better armor, would be nice. Fairies in bottles won't revive you if you die. Oh, okay. It's so they don't work automatically in this game, then. Is something strange coming from here? What is this? Oh, a warp? Are there better warp points in this game now? There's more of them? Oh, that's good. Hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you could help me with a little job. I'm damp, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. Well, you have some spare time. Come see me in my shack over there.
Well-behaved chain chomp. Either that or Dampy is not tasty. Hey, I want to show you something interesting. Uh, maybe not. I'm poking into some of the ruins on this island, I can tell. Make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there, it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work? Who knows? I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you gotta adventure through it, too. I'm no designer, though. And I'm no adventurer, either. That's all up to you. It'll make the risk worth it. Impress me, there's a treasure in it for you. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. Wait, is he literally just describing the dungeon areas that he's been to? Oh, oh, okay. You got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. Yeah, um, there was a... There was an area with... Uh, you had to jump over a pit, and there was a pulse voice, and some bottles, Lois. What are you here for? What's ami amiibo? There's amiibo support? Dungeon Arranging 101. I started this one already. Can you finish it? Make a path. From the entrance to the Nightmare's Lair, there's got to be a stop along the way for the treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you got to connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. You can only share dungeons by an amiibo, no online. Okay. You can't rotate the dungeons? So let's start. The nightmare key is always going to be the last treasure chest you open. And any extra treasure chests around the dungeon will have rupees and such in them. Connecting rooms. So there's no new dungeon areas, right? This is all stuff that you've that's already been played. Sometimes you think you're all set, but a chamber isn't turning red from red to blue like it should when that happens. Press Y to check and see what the deal is. Unconnected to- oh, okay. Okay. Zelda amiibos unlock up to five extra rooms. I like that Nintendo makes you pay for online services and then doesn't put them in, in obvious things. Scan every amiibo you have and see what happens. I mean, I'll, I'll check a couple, sure. Yeah, this this seems like a very basic... This looked a lot cooler at E3. This seems like a very, very basic addition to the game. I don't know if I'm gonna want to spend a ton of time... ...going through this. This is not Zelda Maker. I mean, they'd have to do a whole fucking thing if they're gonna do Zelda Maker. I think it can be done. Especially with the touchscreen. One rupees? I literally just did all this in the previous dungeon. Um, if they're gonna do Zelda Maker, I think it could work with the touchscreen. But they're gonna have to spend a lot of time figuring out how to make that really, truly work. Do you also make overworld stuff? Just dungeons? Like... You know, the dungeon... Excuse me. 
Zelda Classic and the other, like, Adventure Maker. Things that want to be Zelda Maker. Or things that were, you know, being used before even Mario Maker existed are, like, really complex. There's a lot of variables for a Zelda thing. This might just be a proof of idea for a future Zelda Dungeon Maker. I mean, yeah, the, the idea is neat. I just... I wonder how they could really, truly do it. not terrible. It's it's a decent addition to the game on some level. Um, something from my collection in exchange. A cha a chamber? I wait, I won The rupees you find around the dungeon are a little bonus for me. You can keep them once the adventure is over. Watching you down there give me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready for whenever you want. What's the, I'm just curious. Placing the basics, treasure chests, locked doors. You always need an entrance and an exit. Some tiles of treasure chest or locked door marks. When you see one of those, you gotta put a chamber on it. Okay. This is, I don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. Ba -ba -da -da. This has got to have a locked door. I don't... That sounds like Smash Brothers. This isn't gonna work. <laughs> Boy. Uh, so this has become a bit of a puzzle. I only have a couple... Is that a, it's, that's supposed to be a new one? Okay. Yeah, I only have a couple things that have locked doors that go up into the boss room. That also connect to other stuff. Like, maybe this? One chamber with stairs isn't enough, you should put a second stair, that way they link up. Link. Up. stairs and a treasure chest. It's so, like we could put that there. And then... Hang on a minute, chat. I'll get this. I'll figure this out. This has to be a little more complex than I wanted it to be.
Which already kind of tells you how I feel about it. If I'm just trying to get it over with. Again, it's not terrible, but... Far from terrible. Works because then oh no the stairs go here no why doesn't that work bad entrance there are open doors oh you just have to okay all right okay I can I can fix that I think we can fix that. that right there and now I just need a three the three I need does not exist hmm let me get a twofer and I need uh, one that goes from bottom to left and I don't have that It works. It works, everybody. Hallelujah. Not enough chests before locked doors. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have the chests and locked doors, okay. Now, I think it's good. Not enough chests before locked doors. Oh, I see. This is a locked door. Stupid. So then where does this go? This goes fucking nowhere. Well, now you have everything. You're furnished with every information's. No? This is the only room that... great if I could just leave that there. That would be cool. These... No, why don't these stairs connect? These stairs should connect. They're unconnected chambers. Th they is connected. Chat! Oh, I got three stairs again. Oh. You had it right the first time? Yeah, it wouldn't let me play the thing. It wouldn't let me play the thing. <sighs> because you didn't press A, you pressed Y like a dummy. Well, you could have just said you pressed Y. You didn't have to add that last part. <laughs> well, now I'm... Now I'm stuck doing this again. So... I guess I'll just add more stairs.
dungeon is good. Got plenty of stairs to be connected. Huh? What? Now I have four sets of stairs and they won't connect? The stair- oh, the stairs- okay, yeah, these- these rooms are not connected. I get it now. Okay. I get it. Looks like, yes, I had it before. That is correct, I had it before, and now I don't have it. That's cool. All I have to do is just press the A button, huh? Good for me. Press A this time. Oh, this super cool room again. Six PM brain, yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought it was trying to say like, oh, you have too many stairs. Try again. Try another. Yeah, that was the choicest voice. Boo noise, correct? Okay. I can't make the noise. I did- I wasn't able to make the noise then, I can't make it now, I promise. I would like this more if... It's not bad. Uh, now I know exactly which buttons I have to press. So that's good. I think I would like this more if there were some different dungeon rooms. So you're saying if I use amiibos, I can get brand new rooms? Wrong button. Or are they- so are they brand new rooms, or are they just rooms that are already in the game in different dungeons? I don't think we have an answer to that question. It was worth asking. Okay, well that's nice. That's a good way to farm rupees. I can use that to buy the bow later. Oh, these treasure chests vary wildly, don't they? It's five special rooms, okay. Um, well, I have some Zelda-related amiibos. So I might use them. Check them out real quick. If I don't die in the dungeon first. Ha 
The Link's Awakening amiibo gives the Shadow Link boss fight. Oh, okay, I don't have that one. As far as I'm aware, no one has that one because it's been, like, super sold out. Oh, you, you guys have it? So you're the reason I couldn't get one? It's your fault? Alright, well, I have the book. I can't scan that into the fucking system, but I have the book. It has no words in it. Just a couple pages of clown pictures. I wonder if Twitch will allow that as an emote. That face that that thing was making. Because I know that they're banning Spongebob ass. So I'm just wondering. Yeah, I, you can't have emotes. Um, the explanation was no gasm related emotes. We talked about this last night during the stream. Yeah, their explanation was like, you cannot have, like, anything gasm. No gasmic emote, sorry. Oh, I don't want to arrange. No, 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 no. Dampy doesn't have a new challenge for me now, anyway. Get special chamber. All right, I have to touch an amiibo. Let's see which ones I have nearby. I'm gonna try... I have the 8-bit link. It is now okay to remove the amiibo. Great fairies chamber. Okay, well that's... That's kind of interesting. I didn't want to store the dungeon. Could you imagine trying to share dungeons with strangers? Just going up to them on the street with your amiibo, harassing them? Okay, using classic 8-bit Mario amiibo, let's see if I still get a chamber. This amiibo's not sup- oh. Okay, Zoraldo only? How about Toon Link from Smash Brothers? How about an amiibo with spider webs on it, aka the Guardian from Breath of the Wild? <laughs> to be fair, this thing has lots of appendages. And it kind of just makes sense that there would be spider webs on it, wouldn't there? And spiders love them appendages. I haven't touched that thing in forever. Why are people typing CBD? Oh, I see. I get it. That's interesting. Chat. Winged item chamber. Okay, and I think I need one, one more, is it? There's five special rooms, so let's get one more. Yes, I have a lot of amiibo. Probably more than I should. I haven't bought one in a very long time. I think Cloud was the last one I bought because Cloud. But I definitely have more than I need. I have more than anyone needs. Um, and here's Smash Brothers Link. Adult Link. Armos Knight's Chamber. 
Yeah, Edge. That was Edge Lord's amiibo. I'm just gonna take a look at the chambers for a second. I'm not going to actually place them and play them. So this is... Doesn't... I want to hear... What's the name of it? Oh, that's the new one I got. Here's the amiibo chamber. Great fairy. Okay, that's gonna be useful. Um, here's the other one. Okay, that's an enemy I have, um, yep, haven't fought that one yet. Here's one, there's that dude. The Moblin, okay. I think this dude is from the castle later on in the game. Um, that looks like Link to the Past's main boss. And here's this room, the winged item room. Cool, okay, well, we'll definitely... Vinny, did you hear about Cube World? I did, I'm gonna be playing it at some point. So, yeah, I guess those- those five bonus... ...rooms make this a little more interesting. Not my favorite part of the game, but it's- it's a little extra something. I'm fine with it. How's the game so far, Vin? I- I like it. I think it's a good remake. I've already kind of given my... ...you know... ...spiel about it many times, but... ...sixty dollars is very steep. But it's done with care, and it's very faithful. And I like all the new seashells and heart pieces and things to collect. But otherwise, yeah, it's just more of the same. And it's got some performance issues, but it's also beautiful and sounds nice. So that's my opinion. That's my thoughts on Link's Awakening! Oh, actually, while I have Chain Chomp, let me, uh... Um, and finally, yeah, the quality of life improvements are great. You're gonna spend, like, 45 minutes less in menus and more just playing the game. Fake plastic trees. Green plastic watering can. Yeah. Once you get, um... Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, once you get this thing, a lot of the, the world opens up. The power bracelet, that is. So, um, I'm gonna be streaming Goose Game in a little bit, but I'd like to play this a little longer because I'm enjoying it. Uh... Which grave can I move, chat? Someone has to know. There's, there's gotta be a movable grave here. Bottom right. Not that one. Also, Chain Chomp does not want to fuck with ghosts. You must have both remarkable power and courage enough to face this trial alone. This way will not open for cowards. I'm... I'm a coward? Oh. I was reading chat. You have Chompy Boy. Oh. Can't do it with Chompy Boy. Okay. Nice restore point. Oh, big ghost! All 
All right, let me bring back Chomp. There's definitely some seashells around here, too. Right here. Man, Chomp is such a good boy. Look at this. All these dig locations that I never would have found. This is for potions. Alright, chat. Calm down. Hey there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. You give me 28 rupees for my secret? Alright. Come here, I'll rub it on you. <laughs> there, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all hearts. Drop again. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. I, I will probably be at this hut a lot. Living with the Rattos. I seem to recall something being in this pool. Or maybe not. It's teleport? Later- oh, later on, right? Check her dresser? Why chat? Link check the chest. Wow, this is a nice chest. Uh, is that what you wanted, chat? You just that? What? I threw a pot at her. She's fine. Ah! Oh, deserved. I kind of don't want to lose the chomp because then I can't find dig spots as easily. I need the hook shot for your, for this, right? Yeah. Might be able to. No. Oh. Yep. Just barely make it. Kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. Yeah, yes. This confused me when I was young and, and small brain. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Your brain still small. <laughs> Full HP. Yeah, the extra heart pieces are going to make this game much more doable in hero mode. So that's exciting. 
in regular mode, it might have been too, like, extra easy. But this is fine. Vinny, are you going to TwitchCon? Hell no. <laughs> Honestly. No convention is worth me flying across the United States for. I appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. Are you such a- you are such a nice boy, how can I ever repay you? I know! Smooch. Oh, thanks. Uh, lucky. <laughs> meat con? I- meat con sounds fun. Let's see if I can go back to the graveyard. Let me get a warp point first, and then we shall see. A whole big portion of the world just opened up. Oh, I missed a heart piece. I know exactly where it is, too. I like that they tried to recreate the wonky physics of Link falling in holes, but not, like, just immediately dying from them. Like, you can still kind of walk over a hole and then get out of it. back here. I don't know if I can do the section yet. The graveyard thing. I don't remember what I need specifically, but we'll find out. Oh, it's the- you need the correct order. Right? You need to find the correct order in the library? Oh, man. Ah, uh, that was the... Oh, man. So clearly, I did not get the correct order. You don't need the. Okay, so what? Um, how can I? How can I get that correct order? I want to do this. Check my past messages. Bottom right down, bottom left left. Bottom right down, bottom left left. 
Oh, I forgot you can move these things and not just up. Bottom left, left. Top left, up. Middle top, up. Middle top, up, no. Middle top right, and then this one. There we go. Okay. So this is the color dungeon. This is the color dungeon or the color guard. You'll need magic powder to get anywhere in here. Say the word and I'll sell you some. Yeah, this was the uh, DX edition. It's not the most complex dungeon by any means, but it was it was nice. The reward makes it worth it. I guess I can do this now. Before I do Goose Game. And also for hero mode, hero mode is kind of kicking my ass a little bit, so a little extra survivability would be nice. Can you believe we live in a day and age where color is in video games? Still blows my mind. one of the questions that people had early on about this game. Will there- will the color dungeon be in it? Stink. That's his name. What a greedy fool. You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Yo. I definitely need more power, Jamie. I'm also going to need, uh, bombs for that room down there.
Ah, yes. No. Mm. Oh. Oh, okay. Good. It's a new record. key for this yet. Oh, shit. There's, there's more dungeon ahead. But I know how to do better than you. Please, Vinny, give me the controller. There's a treasure chest in this room. key. It is a map. So, chat, how do I solve this one? There's still over here the big key. So I think I gotta go get that. I stop fucking pot noise. I wonder about the development of this game. Like, did it start on 3DS? Did they try to like I mean I wonder if it used the same engine as Link Between Worlds. It started on 3DS, and then they moved it over to Switch. I just don't know. Looks like a totally new engine. I mean, we've been hearing rumors about this game for a long time. There were rumblings about this. You know, there's another remake of Link's Awakening being done in a in a way that looks like Zelda, like 3D Zelda, like Ocarina. Vinny, are you getting any performance issues? Yes, I am. When you enter a new area, some uh, some bullshit happens. This is Unreal Four. Okay. I, I don't want to even really talk about that other Link's Awakening fan remake because I'm afraid uh, Nintendi might be watching and they might say, hey, no one else can do this. Which I don't want to happen because, you know, as if $60 wasn't enough for this game, they're probably going to end up shutting down that remake if they find out about it, so... I love Nintendo. If you're listening, John Tendo, you know, you're great. Your video games are great. But you can be frustrating sometimes. And I understand some of your reasons, but they're still fucking frustrating. Oh, that sucked. Vinny, you got this game. Why would you need another remake? 
I just thought it would be interesting to see the, um... Damn, okay. I, I thought it would be interesting to see what Link's Awakening would look like using, like, the 3D Zelda style. The same way... Okay, check this out. Samus Returns is a Zelda 2 remake. <laughs> no, it's not. It's a Metroid 2 remake. And... It's good. I liked it. I enjoyed it. But the fan remake, which took 10 years to make, was better. I don't regret hero mode. And as soon as I get the blue tunic, I'm gonna be very happy. I'll say that this whole thing, this color dungeon, actually even threw off the balance of Link's Awakening to an extreme degree. Because the game was already easy, and then you have, like, the ability to do double damage or take less damage. So, I think now it is extremely useful. There we go. There we go. No, I, I still don't regret hero mode. I don't. I'll let you know if I do at any point. Okay. Someone just said everything in this game looks edible. Yeah, it kind of does. It's like the cakes that people make that are supposed to look like something else that's not edible. But yet there's like a, a, a glaze to them. Yeah, lots of fondant. Though I saw one recently that was a Doritos bag. And it made no sense. Because it looked... From a certain angle, you could not tell that it was a cake. And I just was confused. But... But I've also seen a baby cake that looked like a real baby. And then someone takes out a knife and you're like, oh no, oh no, and then it's a cake. I'm safe. Hard hit beetle. What a name! It's shooting like Scooby Doo mystery machine designs. slow. It's, yeah, the charged attacks can either be, like, really stupidly powerful, as evidenced by my slime battle when I actually manage to get them going properly, or you get yourself killed. Very easily. Okay. 
can jump over this shit. Step back, take your time. Come on, step, play stuff. Come on, you know. Oh. Got a little extra aggressive there. Paid off. Nice warp. <laughs> oh, okay, I see why the warp happened, because you know, here you get to choose. I admire you for coming this far, Link. I'll give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? <laughs> blue, please. Yes. Yes. You can always come back and get the other one. I will now take you outside, thanks. Can you restore my health? Any, uh, like, if I wasn't doing hero mode, it would have always been red. Alright, um, this game is addictive. I kind of don't want to put it down. Just because it's, it's good. It is good. The game is fun. It is a good remake. I'm always looking forward to the next thing. And to seeing what they did with the next boss, or the next item, or whatever. And, uh, for that, I will say I am pleased. But, for now, I have to do, uh, some goose stuff. You like goose stuff, don't you, chat? Okay, then goose stuff it is. I need bombs before I can do some of this other stuff. So, yeah, there's still more. Before I can open those caves, I have to get bombs. Here's the other warp point. At least let me... Yeah, I'm gonna unlock this. Okay. There you go. I like that you can now choose the point, as opposed to just having to warp randomly, hoping that you'll get the spot you need. There's a man named Richard who lives in Pothole Field, southeast of the village. Why not pay him a visit? Okay. Vinny, it wasn't random, it was a cycle. I know, I d misspoke. You, you tend to do that a lot. When you, um, when you speak words... ...about stupid things for a long time. I, I do that a lot, at least. So... You know, you know usually people don't have 5,000 people there to, crit like, scrutinize... ...their choice of words, but I... yeah, it happens. Gotta be hyper-aware of that. So that's why I use a variotous amount of words, many of which are real. I swear, Goose Game is up next, I swear. Goose Game will be here. Goose Game was only my second most anticipated game of the year. A dream? Hmm. <laughs> like, they, they waddle. They waddle backwards. This remix is nice. Oh, did I get a Limes raid? Oh, fuck! Thank you, Limes. Appreciate it.
People have been so nice to me today. Oh, Kit Boga Limes, you guys are the best. Thank you. But you know who's really the best? Bounty from DMC2. I kind of want to check the Twitch directory and see how many people are actually streaming. Oh, it's like... like Jello now. Okay. Come on, see people are streaming DMC2! Yeah, I'm fine. I... sorry, again, not having the mute feature as readily available as I used to, just by be being able to move the microphone to an up vertical position means that, um, it's- it's a little harder for me to mute myself when I cough and sneeze. I'll do my best. I'll try. And I continue to try. Good sleep, I guess. Get to take those rupees back. Imagine you can take your uh, stuff you get in dreams back with you. Fuck, man. Alright, well this- this has been great. I've enjoyed this a lot. Shortcomings aside, 19 deaths so far. <laughs> The- the minor shortcomings aside, it's still a very playable, very tolerable game, um, that has a lot of neat little surprises. Again, faithful, yet the stuff that's been updated and all the little additions are nice, but it's still Link's Awakening, and it's still a great game. And I think overall they did a pretty good job with it. And I'm happy with this. So, we'll stream more of this soon. Maybe DMC2 has zero viewers right now, huh? Um, yeah, maybe, uh, Monday I'll stream more of this. Vinny, how would you feel about a Mario RPG remake in this style? Yes, is the answer to that question. That would be fantastic. You know Gopanga? Not in this exact style, but something... Kind of similar. We're going to take a quick break. I'm going to play you a song. Um, I'm going to ingest some water. And I will be back with Untitled Goose Game. The most exciting release of the year. Please stick around for this nonsense. Be right back. <laughs> 